fighting spirit, and that's what we need. Anything you, if you don't fight for it, you're going to lose it. You know, I, w- I would like to think that our faith is some kind of, you know, thing we go through and we're just having a good time with it. But I tell you what, it's not a game. It's, 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 a real, it's real stuff, you know, that um, it's a life and death situation for yourself and for your children. And that's the way we have to face it head on, fighting the good fight of faith. Not, not like how we used to do in the world, you know, um, but, but in the spirit. We must be spiritual people. To, to, you know, that's why the Bible says that a, a, a nat- the natural man cannot un- understand the spiritual things. That's why we must be spiritual. We must, we must um, um, get in tune with God. Um, be honest with God. Always ask Him to change your heart. Make you strong. Um, allow Him to move in your life. And uh, I think that's one of the hardest things to do is to trust God. But God is faithful. He's faithful. And, um, you know, through, so, so through prayer... Um, and another one is, is, you know, being that, that example for me and that, that, that she, you know, that she loved, she always loved God. And my mom wasn't perfect, like none of us, but she, she just, she just, you know, um, she just wouldn't quit. You know, she had that, you know, um, she just would, would continue and continue, you know, to, to instill these things and, uh. It's interesting because as I was growing up, you know, I was the middle child. Um, but I always knew that I had a calling on my life and I ran from it. I ran from that calling because I was afraid. Afraid of, um, you know, I, I always used to think about what my life would be. or, But it always used to get me in trouble because it wasn't God's plan. You know, either through trying to make money or trying to um, make people happy. But I noticed that um, the only one could could make me happy was was God and my family. And you know, we need to understand that um, we cannot quit on our children. But the greatest thing they're gonna see is 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 that that fire in you. That, that example of how you love God. And, and, you know, the Bible says to love God with all our might, with all our strength. Even if you don't feel like pressing and realize that um, your life matters to your children. And that's what my mom was, you know. And now um, she finally backs off of me because she sees me growing more in God. And now she cannot stop me because... Uh, I'm kind of radical for, for, for God. It's like, it's like, I cannot teach you anymore. You, you, when you come up with all these things, you know what I mean? It's just because I'm a seeker, you know, and, and I seek God. Why? It's because now I'm fulfilling my call, and that is to bring the gospel to, to, to the body of Christ and to this world and use my gift for, for his glory. You know, and I, I never thought my glyph was significant. And you look, the Apostle Paul, there wasn't, you know, Moses, they, they stuttered and, you know. But I, I do have the Holy Spirit, and it's there, you know, and, and he, he, he knows everything. So as we, you know, and my testimony is this, is that, you know, um, uh, you know we, we, we are the light of the world. And we are to, you know, we in the world. We are not like to be the world, but, but like, be like the world, but we are to love the world. Amen? We are to love the world and to love our children, especially because, you know, um, I think that's, that's where, you know, God, God is concerned about our children, about our loved ones. Amen? Yes, he He's very concerned of what we are concerned. And um, especially for fathers out there, you know, there's, it's a it's a big responsibility, but um, you know I would like to say this that uh, um, you know God God has given us that responsibility to to train our child uh, in the way that they should go, you know, and um, 
it's very important that uh, uh, we do that, you know. And, um, you know, what is the greatest thing? We give our lives, yeah? Give our lives up for, for, for other people. And that's what we're doing. We're giving our lives the way Jesus did. When we, when we gave our lives to Jesus, it's not, we, we are not our own, you know. We've got to remember that, you know. And um, uh, So we're always keeping our perspectives correct, you know, keeping our heart right. Because our kids are counting on us, you know. And I noticed this, my, my, my grandson, you know, um, uh, my, my kids are not really close with the Lord, but I, I, I pray for them. But I know inside they know, they see how I love God and uh, um, how I pray around the house really loud at times. But I'm getting, you know, a little bit, you know, but, I, you know, I just love to pray loud sometimes because I realize the battle is going on. And it's for some reason, it stirs in me. I can see the enemy, how he comes and, and he speaks, you know. So we go back to speaking. Speaking is very crucial because speaking um, helps you to be sensitive to what's going on, the dangers. And, and, when, and when God says to pray for your children, you know, I, I have time many times that God says, right now you pray for your kids. I don't know what's going on. And, and like, you know, so it's, it's uh, those things, being sensitive to the spirit, always praying um and things like that so so that's the kind of things that um that God has put in me and I thank God for my mom for being that and um I think it become easier because now to hear God because of how my mom instilled all these years about God and and what was right and what was wrong and I, you know and and she gave me good lickings too yeah, good leakings when we were small. We had them paddle about that thick. And, uh, man, I used to look for that thing. I used to try to hide them. We threw it, I think, me and my brother. And she couldn't find them. But, yeah, you know, and, and the generation today, you know, I understand, you know, um, you, know we, you know, we don't have that today, huh? at, at, you know, where discipline is needed. So, um, more so, we got to uh, instill to them the values of of what is right but the greatest thing is right here this word love yeah. that's it yeah. how we love is, is 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 the is the greatest thing as the most powerful thing that we can ever do but to love to truly love unconditionally is, is to love god first yeah. we cannot have love and it's not it's not an earthly love it's a, it's a love that comes from god yeah so um other than that um yeah, that that that's kind of um, my story, and you know, like um, you know, so if you hear God, you know, and and many of your kids, like Pastor said, I'm sure they, you know, you might think they're f um, not not where they're supposed to be, but they they have some gifts and talents in them that um, uh, is is can be used for the Lord, you know, and and and. Uh, do do not give up on them and always you know when I was down in in the stuff and in my in my thing and um, the the Lord you know I felt like um, I felt I wasn't worthy but God would visit me and, and touch my heart and He said you know what I don't see those things I see your potential I see your heart and that that till today. I, I, you know, I, I go through trials, tribulations like everybody else, you know, especially as a Christian, you know. Um, but I realized that God was always for me and he's going to bring me through and he's going to bring your family through. He's going to bring your children through. He, he, he's not going to give up. God is, God is, God is, God, he, got, he got it under control, you know. Um, even though it doesn't seem like, but, you know, you have to. Press in. You have to believe and continue to believe. Be relentless. Um, when the enemy comes and you got to just, just be stronger. You got to get above those things. And, um, you know, no one, you know, no one can be against you, you know. You know, God, God has, um, he's for us. And yes, like, and, and, um. You know, we wasn't born for no reason. We was born for his purpose, and that is to bring hope to this world and hope to our families. 
and, and uh, bring change, you know. But it has to start, and that's what revival is. Revival, I believe, it's, it's you first, you know. That, that's where people are going to see, you know, the difference in you, you know. And, uh, um, you know, and, and, and it's a choice, so, you know, not, you know, many people might not want to come to the Lord right now, but if you love them and build a relationship, I think that's the key, yeah? You know, sometimes, like I said, don't preach so much scriptures. Just, just love them, hear them, and, you know, um, I, th I think that is, that is the key, you know. And, and that's what I, I find with most people out there when I'm in the work field. Um, because just, just me being, being around people, you know, sometimes they can feel intimidated by, by how you live. Because, you know, you don't swear, you don't cuss. You know, and they can feel Jesus, but everybody loved Jesus. In, in the Bible, you know, the, 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 the only people that didn't love Jesus was the Pharisees, was the religious people that was so proud and arrogant. Yeah? But, but man, the prostitutes loved Jesus. The, the sinners loved Jesus because Jesus loved people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah? And, and, and realize that if, if that's the case, then we, we should do that. For, the, for this world, and you know, um, only God can change people, not us. But as we focus on ourselves, being the example, being the light, and, and, and then I, I, I believe people are going to see Jesus, you know, in our lives. Amen? Yeah. Amen. And, and so, God is no respecters of persons, you know. Um, Shucks, you don't have to know, know so much, you know. You, all, all you got to know is that um, what God came for, he came for you to set you free. He died on the cross. He bore your sins. Um, he, took, he, he, he got spat on. He got, he got lickings for you, you know. So you parents out there, you know, um, uh, just continue. You know, if you, if you, if you, if you're discouraged, don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged because, like I was sharing, uh, one of my friends, um, friends, they, he was he was kind of suicidal the other night uh, on drugs, and and they wanted me to speak to him, and I told I told him, you know, you you're not that far off. It's just a choice away. It's just a choice away. The enemy wants to think you you are done. But you're not done. Yeah, you're not done. I was just one choice away. And that is to, to take a step towards Jesus. And he will take a step towards you. Because it's the power of Jesus that can change your circumstance. And change those desires. And give you a good life. He came to set you free. He, not, he, he didn't give you. He didn't come to, give, to, to harm you. Or, or, to, or to discourage. Or to make you look shame. God came to, to give you a life. A good life, yeah, and, 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 and to give you a hope and a future. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen? Yes, thank you, Lord. So, Lord, I, you know, so those of you out there, parents, that, that have, haven't, um, you probably not, maybe you haven't been to church for a while, or maybe you, you kind of lost hope because, every, you know, everything around you, you know, you look your kids and, and you prayed for a very long time and you, you didn't see them come. Continue. Press in. Love on Jesus. Let him overwhelm you. Let him change you. Get saturated in him. Put your mind on him, not on this world. Yeah? This, this world is, is, is um, you know, sometimes we can get, you know, with everything going on um, uh, and things like that. But set your mind on God. Set your mind on the kingdom. You know, uh, get into his presence. That's the key. Because his presence, there's freedom. And, and, and that's, that's how you can uh, uh, give freedom, is, is be, be free. Be free. And that's where hope starts. You know, that's, that's, where, that's where confidence is. You know, confidence is not in me. Confidence is when I get with the Lord and allow him to work on me. Amen? And, and to... And to uh, uh, um, just, just surround, surround myself in His love, in His presence. You know, 
um, and He'll never fail you. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He does not change like shifting shadows. Like, you know, we get, we get moods up, down, you know, left, right. He, he's always good. He's always awesome. He never changes. Yeah? He's moved by your faith. Not by we getting pity parties. We got we to gotta have faith that he will do it. And I, I will not settle for less than that. God, you will do this. I'm going to pray till it comes. And if my attitude sucks, I'm going to make it better. Lord, no, I, you know, I cannot be in unbelief. Unbelief is, is the opposite. God hates unbelief. Hallelujah. Amen. We got to fight the good fight. Amen. Yes, stir up ourselves. Stir up ourselves. Come on, let's go. That's, that's the way we should do things. Then we create an attitude of praise. Hallelujah. Expecting things that is not seen, that, that, that is, you know, um, it'll come to pass because of your belief, because of your passion, because of the anointing upon your life. Then when you speak to your children, they can feel the presence of God. And you educate yourself. How can I be a better person daily? That's what I tell in Jesus. How can I be a better person? How can I love better? Amen. Always I need work because I leak. We all leak. We all get, you know, a little off track or a little bit. But as we focus and keep our minds steadfast with a good character, a good attitude, you know, Amen. Hallelujah. It's not by might. It's not by power. But it's through his spirit. Yeah. Be a spiritual person. Ask God. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. And so I like lead people to, to, to repentance. Those, those who want to be a citizen of the kingdom. We're not, we're not waiting for the citizen that way we go up there in heaven. We're going to have citizenship right now, right here, in your home, in your workplace, in your marriage, with your kids, the kingdom, in your house, wherever you go. The kingdom of heaven wants to touch the heart of men so we can demonstrate that in the earth. Yes, amen. So just repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I thank you for dying for me. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. And you rose again so I could have eternal life. I thank you for the love that you have for me. And Lord, I believe that you will help me to be a man and a woman after your own heart. Thank you for, for loving me. Thank you for forgiving me. In Jesus' name, amen. And Lord, I continue. I want to pray, Lord, for, for those watching that has heard this tonight. I come against every condemnation, every spirit, every lie. That will, any accusing spirit that would try to come against you to see God in a greater light, I bind that right now off of your mind. And I loose the power of God right now upon your life. Set them free, Lord. Set us free. Bring clarity. Bring peace again that surpasses all understanding. And I thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, family. You guys send you guys prayer requests. We'll be praying for you guys. Have a good night.